Some new concerns for you this morning in Newington, a neighborhood there, after a coyote attacked and killed a large dog. Yeah, parents and authorities will be on guard as children head to the school bus stop this morning. Fox Connecticut's Anthony DiLorenzo joins us with more on the story. Anthony. Good morning to you guys. Yeah, coyote concerns are really high in this Newington neighborhood where we're standing right now after you mentioned that coyote took down a huge dog earlier this week. But this morning, state environmental officials say they'll be patrolling this area between the hours of 6.30 and 7.30, around the time when kids are heading to school to try and prevent any further problems. The call of the wild in Newington turning deadly for one family's Great Dane after a vicious coyote attack. I will definitely be looking at my windows day and evening. On Tuesday, the wild animal tangled with Zoe in the family's backyard on stagecoach lane, fatally injuring the nine-year-old dog. This was a matter of maybe 20 seconds that Zoe was out of my sight, and I was focused looking down at the new dog, and um, it just happened very, very quickly. Ever since the dog's death, pet owners and parents with small children are on alert. It's difficult. Now, obviously, we're a lot more concerned than we were before and very concerned about the children and the neighbor's children. While Zoe's owner didn't want to go on camera, she wanted her story to be told to hopefully prevent another attack. Melissa says that Coyote is bold and unafraid. On one occasion, it even followed her and her kids to the bus stop, something that's even piqued the interest of state environmental officials. Yeah. The Coyote seems to be very comfortable going up and down the street and popping out of the woods and, and heading towards where it's more populated. Coyote concerns that have an entire neighborhood keeping a close watch. You know, we take her for walks in the neighborhood almost every day mm -hmm. and uh, be a little more cautious yeah. as of tonight. And if you do see the coyote or are approached by it, it's best to just try and stay calm and leave the area as quickly as possible. But if you must try and scare it away, it's best to shout or wave your arms and act as aggressively as possible. And if you do see a coyote attacking your pet, police say it's best to just leave the pet alone and not intervene there. Again, this morning, state environmental officials expected to be here in this area of Stagecoach Lane watching as kids go to school today. To make sure that everyone stays safe. Reporting live here in Newington, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Fox, Connecticut.